The difference quotient is really a foundational concept as we build our skills in calculus. For example, we're going to come to find that the difference quotient is the key to us building a derivative, which some of you may know about in, from pre-calc, but others of you may not. So the difference quotient, you're going to see a lot of exercises um, with this. So f of x plus h. What that means is just take the function f that's given to you, in this case x squared plus 2x plus 5, and plug in x plus h every time there's an x. And then you'll subtract the original function and then divide by h. There's going to be quite a bit of algebra here. So let's first look at what is f of x plus h for this problem. And as I said, what we do is we just plug x plus h in for x. So this will be x plus h squared plus 2x plus h and then plus 5. So this here, and I'll indicate it, this is our f of x plus h. And then we just subtract f of x, which is x squared plus 2x plus 5. So let me highlight that there to help you follow where everything is going. And some of you probably are watching this and thinking, oh boy, we just got to be careful here. Yes, um, how I wrote it, there's probably mistakes are going to happen. So notice we're minusing this whole expression. So I'm going to put parentheses or brackets around that so that I remember to distribute. And then it's all over h. So then let's simplify the numerator. It's going to be able to simplify quite a bit. So to do x plus h quantity squared, remember you cannot distribute this exponent, this exponent of 2, inside parentheses ever as long as there's addition or subtraction. So I can't do that. Instead, I need to think of this really as x plus h times x plus h. So hopefully you're realizing, yeah, we need to FOIL this. So if I FOIL that, I get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. I'll distribute this 2 now. So 2x plus 2h plus 5. And then because I remembered to put those parentheses, I'm going to distribute this uh, minus sign or the negative and now it's all over h and now at this point let's look closely in our numerator numerous terms are going to cancel out x squared and negative x squared 2x and negative 2x 5 and negative 5 in fact here's a hint to you it, um, at that point everything that does not have an h in it should cancel out and so just to make that clear Notice everything that remains in my numerator has an H in it. So if there's something that has that doesn't have an H left over, stop, go back, you messed up somewhere. And then if I keep going on here, notice because everything has an H in it in the numerator, like I said, I'm going to factor an H out. And then the big thing here is that H will cancel with this H. So then I'm left with a 2X plus H plus 2. So everyone, this is the difference quotient. We'll be taking a limit of this, as you'll see later on in the packet, as well as um, in our early days of calculus. Thanks for watching.